Okay, my daughter is almost turning eight years old and I've ordered a bunch of things for her birthday, her birthday party. And I thought I could show you in a video and then um, share the links because I'm excited to open the packages. And these items I can also use for other cake smash sessions, uh, like, they're, like these ones, because they're garlands. So what I have here is a garland with uh, forest animals. Garland made of paper. And this looks really cute. Two more garlands. I don't know. Oh yeah, well, they're not the same. I, th I was thinking like, why did I order two? Okay, so here, more forest animals. So yeah, she's a big Bambi fan. It was like her favorite stuffed animal when she was little. Plastic tablecloth. So here we have these like party hats that say woodland. Some gift bags. So here we have some straws. A woodland napkin, super cute. Some paper cake plates. And here is another garland. It's all wrapped in plastic. It's a lot of plastic. I tried to use less plastic. It didn't work this time. Uh-oh, late for school. Pins to put in cupcakes, and then these really big ass balloons. I have to pick up the kids from school. Currently outside collecting two sticks. I already found one stick. Let's see if there are some sticks here just lying around. Let's see, I got more sticks here. I got another stick. This one actually fell off. I think I'll go with these two. So today I have a rustic looking naked cake and there's a little girl coming in and um i'm gonna do a little tiny diy so i just picked up two branch like what are they just very small little sticks uh from my uh, backyard and they already had fallen off the tree i have a string i have glue i have some paper and scissors and here i have a little box which i'm going to unbox because what we're going to put on the cake really cool are some like forest animals. So first here I have a grizzly bear, super cute. Then I have um, a squirrel, a moose or something, or like a mother deer, I don't know. Uh, and a uh, stinky animal. I don't know what they're called. Okay, so I'm just going to fold this double. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to cut out little legs and when you fold them open it has a different design doesn't matter because we're gonna fold them double anyway and paste them on the strip and I'm just going to paste the little banner on there of course, I washed the branches from the backyard because I'm gonna stick them into the cake. Oh, how many have I have? Seven. Maybe once you glue them all together, put something heavy on it so that they don't open the whole time and they can dry. So here you see the cake without anything. Now we're going to decorate the cake. So we cut the string. We tie it around the branch. And 
there you go. Just some eucalyptus to add. I really love the forest animals. The only problem is, is that the bear keeps falling backwards. Like he's with his feet digging into the cake. I pushed him down so that he will stay up. And now he's leaning forward a little bit, leaning on the squirrel. Hopefully this uh, they'll stay up for a little bit longer or he stays up for a little bit longer. And of course, I'm going to reuse these animals a lot. So I have this as well as a setup, as a design. And of course, lots of outfits available. came in already and not feeling too great got like she had like a baby cold so just like a running nose but she had that for a while and uh, they didn't want to postpone because her birthday is in two weeks um it was okay so they wiped her nose a lot during the session and i'll try to edit out some of the redness in her eyes and on her nose uh but besides that i mean she liked the cake so that was the most important thing she loved the bath the first was just the portrait photos getting to getting used to the camera a little bit um, so yeah, that was completely fine. So, my four little friends, I washed them. So I think they looked great in the photos. Um, yeah, the bear did have some sticks behind his ass, keeping him up. Um, and then everything was fine. Okay, I just got two packages, so I want to show them before I end this video. Okay, so I got a woolen head. Um, of Vinted, so it's secondhand. I don't know the brand, but I like it. And I got some more packages for my daughter's birthday, which is going to be uh, first animals themed, so I thought I could add it to this video as well. I don't know what I ordered, but it has, it's like a big bag with like tons of little packages inside, and I don't recall I ordered that many things. I also did order some string. Oh, I think they're like strings for the studio for like cake smash. Whatever. So this video is gonna be about cake smash decor. Um, I'm gonna get some scissors. Okay, very cool. You know the paper fluffy balls that I have in the studio? I ordered some gold ones. Um, I'll put some links in the description of the video. Oh yeah, great. Okay, so I ordered some more strings to hang in the back during cake smash sessions. Cardboard circles with like a string sewn through it and it's like black, silver and gold. So here I have some balloons for my daughter's birthday. And it's like forest animals printed on the balloons. So we got a little fox and we've got a, what? a squirrel. So much plastic. So yeah. Next time when you send it, don't put it all in that much plastic. Inside more plastic. 
one. Yeah, so my cake smash themes are simple. I'm gonna give you, show you some examples. So, soft, colored, simple, calm. So my garlands are small, minimalistic, but still. Ooh, this is very minimalistic. When I ordered it, I thought that would be bigger, but that's okay. These are like tiny stars. So here you have a tiny star garland and it's tiny. It's like the size of my pink pretty much. My pink is also pretty small. But anyway, so we've got some pink, pink, gold and white stars, but very small. So we've got more uh, garlands with forest animals. Ooh, yeah, I was, I was quite interested about this one. This is like a garland with golden flowers, like, and then like cut out golden flowers. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. It has also like this uh, string and then these like sticky stickers uh, to probably attach the flowers to the string. I ordered some more um, of these fluffy balls that you can open, some peachy colored ones, and then some jungle forest animal green colored ones. So here you go. So this is what they are. You just open up all the layers, like here you can see it. This is the way it was. And then you open it up and you have like these fluffy balls that you can place in the back during your face session. Oh yeah. Sometimes I have a dinosaur themed cake smash. A string with uh, dinosaurs made of felt. So I can hang that in the back, like a subtle dinosaur um, decoration. In the past, I think there's actually a video of me cutting out uh, dinosaurs out of paper and then pasting them onto a string and hanging them in the back during a case one session. In this case, someone's already done it for me. Oh, I really thought the star garlands were bigger than this. They're like tiny. I thought they would be like this big. But they're like that big. Gold, pink, and then darker blue, lighter blue. Like, I thought, I was hoping that this one was going to be the size of one that I already use a lot, this one. Okay, because here, then I have silver ones, gold ones, and pearly white ones. I probably just didn't check well, but they're just a size smaller, uh, but it's okay. And I got more, oh, these are hearts. <laughs> Someone wants to have like a Canadian theme cake one session? No. These are like uh, autumn leaves, uh, which are going to be... Beautiful, I think, hanging in the back is like an uh, autumn colored garland. And they're actually a good size. Like, I like this size. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love reading your comments. And then, um, yeah, hopefully I can see in the comments. You see me in my next video. Thanks for watching.